While I'm doing this, uh, Bernard Curry, now they had a, uh, the Blues Hall of Fame is actually uh, the chairman of the board. He lives in San Diego, so Bob Paparozzi and Bernard went out to San Diego and they did a festival out there. And they inducted Bernard on the West Coast. So I thought it was appropriate that I would induct Bernard Purdy in New York City. So Bernard Purdy, I'd like to officially recognize you and induct you as a master blues artist in the Blues Hall of Fame, Mr. Bernard Purdy. He was out in um, San Diego where they inducted it, so I thought it was a cool thing to, to do. And I got the wrong one here. I'm, I'm in good shape today. <laughs> well, they did a West Coast thing. We got to do an East Coast thing. Rob Paparozzi, you are officially inducted as a master blues artist in the Blues Hall of Fame. My friend, Rob. How many albums have you played on, Will? I mean, four. Four. <laughs> That's what I thought. You played all, all my three beer records, right? I think Three beer with Michael Packer. There you go. No more three beer. But actually, I got Bernard, Will, and John Paris. They all played on my albums in the 70s. But anyway, this cat has played with everybody, you know, from the Letterman Show. It's his wife's birthday, Sandrine Lee, so we gotta say happy birthday to Sandrine. Come on, happy birthday! <laughs> to me, these guys up here, Will and Bernard and Rob and John Paris, these guys are New York. I mean, these guys were the, like the session players. The session players like, you know, they were the go-to cats to get. And so it's an honor for me to officially recognize and induct Willie as a master blues artist in the Blues Hall of Fame. Thank you, it's a great honor, really appreciate it. And uh, it, Mr. Michael Packer here is a guy with a huge heart and a lot of soul. And I've known him uh, since we both had the blues pretty badly in the early 70s and 80s, didn't we? Yeah, we got over that. And uh, we're back, and it's great to be alive, and it's wonderful to be here in New York City on such a beautiful and day. The stream's falling apart. I'm not going to say uh, that much about our personal lives, but I do want to say about Michael Packer that it's really beautiful of him to put this, this whole thing together for us all. Thank you so much for the recognition. And, uh, it's a great honor. Thank you, Michael. Congratulations, Will. You really deserve this award. Come on, Will Lee. Thank you. Well, Will Lee used, Will Lee used to hang out with this cat. His name was Hiram Bullock. Now, John Paris, we were, we were talking on, on the phone the other night and, uh, about Hiram and how much, you know, we both admired Hiram and his music. And Hiram said, John Paris said if Jimi Hendrix had lived, he would have played like Hiram Bola. So that then yeah, it's pretty amazing. Hiram Bola was especially 
he meant something to me. I went through a rough time in my life, and uh, Hiram was, um, you know, he see me on the streets, walking down Bleecker Street. He come up and give me like 10 bucks and stuff. He was a spiritual cat. And uh, part of my reasons for doing this is because I remember him, and he helped me out immensely. One night I was at the Gil Evans Orchestra at Sweet uh, Basil, and uh, Hiram invited me in. There I am, I'm homeless. Mick Jagger and some other guy are sitting at the table. It's me, Mick Jagger, the bartender, and Mick Jagger's friend. Hiram introduces me. I'm sitting there on Mick Jagger's dime, and he's getting me drunk. You can't beat that. In those days, you couldn't beat it. So anyway, I'm going to have Will Lee and Jennifer is going to come up and Hiram's niece. Come on, she's beautiful, Hiram's niece. Whoa. Oh, Erica. Erica, come on up here. Jennifer, Erica, would you like to say um, I just wanted to say um, on behalf of our family and friends and everyone that loves my Uncle Harold, you know, we really appreciate that he continues to live through all the, the people and the music that loved him and he loved so much, so thank you. I'm going to present Hiram's award to Erica. I love you. Jennifer Orange. Hiram has never left us, so no worries, anybody. Thank you. Come on, Will. you got to say something. Hiram Bullock uh, was, was a New York uh, guy. <laughs> he was actually a world guy, but uh, he, he was a guy for, for all of New York to be proud of. Uh, he was a guy who was, uh, if you ever had a chance to play with Hiram, sure, most everybody up here had some Hiram experiences. Uh, he and I had a band together that became the original uh, Late Night with David Letterman show band. And everybody says that was the best incarnation of the band that could have ever been. Um, Hiram, to play on stage with Hiram Bullock, his stage was a fertile ground for creativity. And uh, an amazing amount of, uh, of music blossomed inside the people that got a chance to play with Hiram. So I want to thank Hiram for sort of showing me what to do on stage when I got on a stage. And Hiram Bullock, we all love you and miss you and congratulations. Very much. My brother from another planet. Come on, you guys ready to rock out? Will Lee, come on. Bernard Purdy.
real shitty feeling And my baby, she don't live here no more No more
Tom Bones Malone in the house, or is he long gone? He left. He took his certificate and walked. Lou, Lou Marini out there? Lou Marini? Here yet? Not here yet. Lou Marini has been driving for a total of about eight hours from Washington, D.C. And that's no exaggeration, stuck in traffic. So if you see him, I mean, him give him some head or something, the poor cat's like... You know, I did, wanted, I, did I say that out loud? I didn't hear it. One of the highlights of my life, my uh, career, was getting to know the, the great one and only Les Paul, inventor of just about everything. I think he invented gravity. Uh, and uh, I was honored to be with him at his 90th birthday at Carnegie Hall. We had an all-star lineup. Will was on bass. Omar Hakim on drums. We had every guitar player imaginable. Edgar Winter. And it was just a, an amazing night. And this is the little number we did. And I want to send this out to Les and his family. We miss you, Les. Y'all, Yo, this, this is a B.B. King number. This is a Ray Charles number. This is a... Uh, Lewis Jordan number, this is our number, and we gotta keep, keep moving. So y'all help out on it. like we rehearsed it. <laughs> you only live once when you're dead, you're done. Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. I don't care if you come along, everybody, come on. Let the good times roll. Don't sit there yakking, talking trash. Want to have fun, spend a little cash. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Let the good
General to the Blues. He'll be back later, John Paris, but let's a uh, nice round of applause, a big round of applause for Will Lee.